A Capture One catalog is simply a database that tracks the location of images and records information about those images, for example applied adjustments and metadata. Images can be stored across a variety of storage mediums, whether that be on local hard drives or external hard drives, or a mix of both. To create a new catalog, choose File, New Catalog. Then choose the name and location for the catalog and click OK. This creates the database that tracks image locations and adjustments. For maximum performance, store this on a local drive, preferably an SSD. The location of actual image files can be anywhere as long as your system can access them, for example external drives. Images must be imported into the catalogue before you can begin to work on them. Typically this is from a memory card or from an existing location on disk. In this case we will import images from a memory card. Click the import icon in the toolbar to open the import dialogue. Import from shows the location of images to be imported. Memory cards will be automatically detected or manually select from the source drop down menu. Check the include subfolders box if you want to import from the selected folder and its subfolders. This is a good option if you have a pre-existing hierarchy on your hard drive that you want to preserve and import into the catalog. Under import to decide in the destination menu where to store the imported images. There are three choices here. Current location. The images will be left at their current location and reference there. This is a good choice for importing images already present on hard drives. Inside catalog. Images will be managed by Capture One and copied inside the catalog database file we created earlier. This will create an all-in-one catalog which is easy to move, share and backup. However, the size of the catalog will be limited to the size of available hard drive space at its stored location. The final option choose folder is most suited when importing from memory card as it is extremely unlikely we will reference images from a card. Therefore a suitable location can be chosen. The subfolder field will also now be active. It is possible to create manual subfolders here simply by typing in the field or use tokens to automatically create a subfolder based on an image attribute. Tokens are shown in a list by clicking here and can be further displayed in simpler categories. Double click on a token to choose. Some tokens have further syntax options by clicking on the disclosure arrow. In this case the images will be sorted automatically into folders based on the date they were created. Click OK. Choosing a collection in the drop down window will automatically add those images to it. By default they will be added to recent imports only, but if you have first selected an album in the user collections area of the library tool tab, they will also be added there. Automatic backups of the image files can also be set by checking backup enabled and setting a location. If applicable, decide on the naming format for the imported files. By default, image name will be used which will preserve the in-camera file name. Again, tokens can be used to form naming conventions. Basic metadata can be set here. To import images with a Capture One style or preset, choose it here. Check the Include Existing Adjustments box if you are bringing in raw files that have already been worked on in Capture One. Alternatively, check the Auto Adjust box and Capture One will apply a number of auto adjustments best suited to the image. Click Import and the import process will start. The Activity Monitor will open showing the import process. During this process Capture One will create high quality colour managed thumbnails of every image imported into the catalogue. This ensures that catalogue browsing performance is optimal and allows browsing of the catalogue even if the raw files are unavailable. For example on a hard drive that is not currently attached. The size of these previews can be changed in Capture One's preferences. The library tool is divided into three areas, catalog collections, user collections and folders. The content of catalog collections area cannot be changed and shows fixed collections of all the images in the current catalog, recent imports, recent captures and the trash. Catalog organization takes place within the user collections area. The folders area shows a summary of the location of images that have been imported into the catalog. The subheading catalog shows if there are any images stored inside the catalog. Below we will see the system folder structure of images that are referenced to the catalog. 
Here are the images we just imported with their automatically created subfolders. Right clicking on the folder will show the option to reveal the complete file system hierarchy or not. Clicking the plus icon will allow you to create folders that the catalogue database will also recognise. This could be useful if you want to move images from one folder to a new folder or from an external drive to an internal drive. Images can simply be dragged and dropped between folders. This action is always a move action, the raw files will not be duplicated. Entire folders can also be moved with a simple drag and drop. and renamed. Remember to always complete actions like this within Capture One so that the catalogue database can keep track of changes. If images or folders are moved at the system level, the catalogue will lose the link to the raw file and the image will be shown as offline. However, it is still possible to re-establish the correct location of those in Capture One by right-clicking on the image and choosing Locate. The same method can be used for entire folders or groups of folders. Right-click on the folder in the Folders area and choose Locate. Alternatively, any folder can be synchronised for changes. This means the catalogue will then correctly reflect the contents of a folder if images have been deleted or added outside of Capture One. Right click on the folder and choose Synchronise. Choose options by marking the relevant boxes. Images can either be synced instantly or the import dialog opened. Complete synchronisation by clicking Sync. New images will be added to the catalogue and removed images removed from the catalogue. If you prefer to organise your catalogue in a virtual sense, in that no images need to be moved from their original location, then the options in the User Collections area are worth exploring. Clicking on the plus icon to the right gives four options to create albums, smart albums, projects and groups. These are all organisational items that you can use to help organise your catalogue of images. An album is a simple collection of images. It has a custom name and images or groups of images can simply be dragged and dropped into it. Any album can be assigned as the Selects Collection by right-clicking and choosing Set as Selects Collection. Then any image can be added to that collection by using the shortcut Command or Control J or changing the cursor mode. A smart album will automatically change its collection contents based on its defined search criteria. For example, a simple album that only contains green tagged images can be created like so. Name your smart album and set the search criteria by clicking on the plus button and selecting the filter items. Simple search presets can be found and saved here. Now any image that fits the criteria of the smart album is automatically added. To help organise your catalogue, think about placing albums and smart albums into projects. Create a project in the same way as we did for creating albums and smart albums. Now albums and smart albums can be dragged into the project. Smart albums placed in a project will only populate with images from that project. Smart albums outside of any project will populate from the entire catalogue. A final element to organising a catalogue are groups. Groups are a freeform organisational item and can be used to organise the user collections area further. Any user collection can be exported as a subcatalogue and any catalogue can be imported. To export a subcatalogue, right click on a folder, collection or project and choose Export as Catalogue. 
In the next dialog, decide on a name for your new catalog and if you want to include the originals. Checking this box will also copy the images from the current catalog to the exported catalog. They will be copied as managed files and therefore placed in the Capture One catalog file itself, making it portable and self contained. The exported catalog can be opened independently of the original catalog. Any catalog can be imported into another catalog from the file menu. If some images are present in both catalogs, the following dialog is displayed to handle duplicates. Stop will end the import immediately. All will keep the image adjustments in the master catalog and the sub catalog by creating an additional variant. Existing will keep the image adjustments contained in the master catalog only. Imported will keep the image adjustments contained in the sub catalog only. One of the main benefits of working in a catalog is the ability to search for images at speed with a variety of search criteria. This is achieved in the filters tool. The filters tool indicates which images in the currently selected collection match the criteria in the filters tool subheadings. Therefore, when switching collections, the filters tool values change as well. To search your entire catalog of images, select the All Images shortcut. Enter text based search terms here and this will search all file names and metadata. To clear any filter criteria, click on the X icon. To filter images by certain criteria, click on the corresponding radio button. To combine filter criteria, option or alt click a further radio button. To make sure all filters criteria is to be matched, check the following option in the filters contextual menu. Further filter categories can be shown by choosing the show hide filters option. Check any option to make it available. Global filters are also available to hide or show certain file types. Finally, filtered results can be converted into albums or smart album collections. Once the correct filtered results are obtained, click on the orange browse button. Active filters are automatically shown in the advanced search dialog. Click on the create smart album button or the create album with current images button. Remember the Smart Album will always populate with new images added to the catalog if they match the criteria. The album will be fixed to the current contents. Create a name for your Smart Album. The album or Smart Album will then be created in the User Collections area.